How do I create a for loop inside of C Sharp? Well, the easiest way to show this is to demonstrate it, so I'm going to begin a new console application. And then inside of the main method, I'll construct a for loop. So I'll begin with the keyword for, then an opening parenthesis, and now I need to specify an initializer, a conditional test, and an incrementer. The initializer, or inside of the initializer, let me create a variable called i, and we'll initialize that to a value of 0. For the conditional test, I'll continue looping as long as i is less than 10. And for the incrementer, I will simply increment i using i++. Now I'll begin an opening and closing curly brace just to allow me the ability to put multiple statements in here if I would wish. But to keep this simple, I'm just going to write out what the current index is. So we'll do a console.write line for the local variable i. And one other thing I'll do, just so that we can see what the output was, I'll run console.readline to hold up execution, and we'll see what the result is. We can see that we've got an output on 10 different lines, where we have the numbers 0 through 9, giving us 10 actual lines of output. Now let's go ahead, Logan, and demonstrate to them the for loop running backwards by starting out with i being initialized to a value of 10, and then let's check for i and 0 and just subtract away from i. All right, so let me begin again because you were still talking with some of that. Sure. So the full modification will actually involve all three pieces of this, the initializer, the conditional test, and the incrementer. What I'll do here is I'll initialize i to a value of 10, so we'll begin at 10. I will continue running as long as i is greater than 0, and we'll actually make this a decrementer by decrementing i. And now we'll see that our numbers go in reverse. And I've actually initialized a little bit too high to get the value of 10. I would have actually had to initialize to 9, but that just all goes back sure. to all the tests. And I guess the uh, <laughs> the conditional check would be actually greater than negative 1. If you want to get the exact same thing we exactly. had in just, the forward direction. Just trying to get the exact opposite of the result we saw a second ago. Sure, but I think they get the idea of going forwards and going backwards. Now, of course, if you are new to working with C Sharp, just to point out, Logan did put the curly braces around the console.write line for the 4, basically saying here is a code block. If there was only one line of code that was going to belong to that for statement, the curly braces were not necessary, so Logan's going to take those out and demonstrate that everything still works fine. But if you are going to have more than one line, you will need the curly braces. Another thing, Logan, you can show them real quick is a quicker way of getting a for loop set up with the help of Visual C Sharp. There is actually a code template in place that will allow you to construct a for loop more quickly. To access that code template, you can begin by typing out the keyword for and then pressing the tab key twice. If you do that, you see the structure of a for loop is automatically dropped into place, and then you can jump between the two key areas. As you can see here, it's actually just chosen the value i as a good default, started us at zero, and then given us the ability to go up into a specific length. And the cool thing is this template is not yet complete, meaning we can still change parts of it. So if I, for example, wanted the variable j instead of i, I could type that in, then hit tab to move over to length. And let's say we, again, actually wanted to use 10 because in this case, in this application, we don't actually have a variable called length. So I could type in 10, then press the enter key to end off the template. And now we're done with the template. It's actually put in place and we can write actual code here. So I could drop in a console, write line, this time writing out the variable j. And then we can see on the second series of lines, we run 0 through 9. So we have recreated our initial for loop, but this time we did it using the code template, and thereby making it more quick. And with that, that wraps up everything we want to demonstrate in this quick How Do I.